and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here for the first time then welcome my name's Trina Louise and over here on this channel we do all things plus size fashion and beauty. Now I'm here today with another plus size clothing haul for you and this time it's from Rose Gal. I've never tried Rose Gal before but I have tried Dress Lily and they do in my experience seem to be from the same company. When I get sent things from Dress Lily they sometimes come in a Rose Gal bag so I think they're probably sort of under the same umbrella or, or something. But Rose Gal reached out and asked if I wanted to try some things and I thought I'm always up for trying a different brand for you guys. So I said yes please and especially because they actually stock a size 28 which is what size I am so I thought we have to give them a go. Now Rosedale have paid me to make this video for you but they haven't paid me to give you any kind of certain opinion. Whenever I'm working with a brand paid or not I make it clear 100% upfront that I will be 100% honest with you guys and that whether I'm paid or not it doesn't affect my opinion. So hopefully you'll see that I am always honest with you guys, paid or not, but I just wanted to be completely upfront and transparent with you. So in today's video, I've got a selection of things to try for you. I've got dresses, I've got tops, I've got jeggings, I've got the whole caboodle, whole bang. I've got a whole bunch of things for you. I do also have a discount code for you, which I will put up on screen and all the links will be down below in case there is anything you wanna try. So I feel like we should just get on with the video and try and some clothes. This is the first dress and it is this gorgeous green floaty dress that is shorter at the front and longer at the back. This dress is so pretty guys, so pretty. I just feel like a fairy princess in this dress. I've just been like spinning around <laughs> by myself pretending that I'm a fairy. <laughs> um, so. <laughs> Back to reality, this dress is gorgeous, but it's too small for me. Like you can see how much it's kind of bunching up and riding up under here. I literally, guys, it was not pretty. I had to grab my breasts and shove them <laughs> into the top because this is gonna, it is tight, guys. If you can't see, please trust me when I tell you that this is tight. Like, look, I can't get the sort of seam where it's meant to be. It's perfect from down here, gorgeous. It looks well made. I like the fact that there are adjustable straps uh, on, the, on the spaghetti straps, it looks gorgeous. The color, the print, everything. <laughs> but yeah, it just doesn't fit me. So I would say this is a 26 to maybe a small 28, but <sighs> realistically, if you've got um, any kind of larger breasts I think you're gonna need this yeah I think this is gonna be a 26 to be honest but it's a shame because it's so so pretty but yeah unfortunately just isn't fitting me right so this is the next dress and it is a black strappy dress with really pretty golden suns, moons and stars. I, I love, love, love the sort of design on this material. Now, fit wise, it definitely fits, but it's that kind of really stretchy material. That means it's gonna cling to everything. But I reckon once I've got a pair of dignity shorts on that tend to just like a little bit and flatten this, I think I'll feel much better in this. I'll show you the back. So it does have adjustable spaghetti straps, which is great. And it's quite a good length. Like I would have probably maybe had this a little bit shorter, which I never say, because things are always <laughs> um, too short, but I definitely would rather it be a bit too long than a bit too short. And if it bothered you that much, you could take it up. But yeah, I'm quite happy with the length. I do wish it was a different kind of material though. I'm not a huge fan of this like really stretchy clingy material. I think if this dress, was in a different kind of material, it would be gorgeous because the pattern and the colors and the shape, everything is great. So just personal preference, I probably want it to be a, a different material, but I could definitely make do with this. It's super pretty. I could see myself just like chilling on the beach in this, chilling at the park, feeling really nice and cool. But yeah, I think it's pretty. I just wish, just wish it was a different material. So the next item I picked is this gorgeous, gorgeous gorgeous top so it's a white top with pretty flowers on and it is cropped and you just tie it at the front guys this 
This is stunning. Let me show you the back. I am in love with this. So it does just tie here and then you've got floaty bits all around like a peplum, which is great because I feel like this is like perfect entry level into wearing crop tops because like everything, if you're wearing something high-waisted, pretty much everything is covered. So if you're feeling a bit less confident about wearing crop tops and you just want to start dipping your toe into the waters, something like this is a great start. In terms of the fit, I probably, yeah, I think it fit quite well. I thought I'd maybe tied a bit of the top uh, to make it work, but actually I think there's enough material. Let me see if I can untie it to show you without showing you <laughs> everything that I don't want to show. So yeah, you can see it comes to just the right point for me, and then I just tie up these ties into a bow. And there we go. So it's super pretty. I'd say it fits quite well. You're gonna see a bit of bra. It's probably gonna happen, but you know what? We wear bras, so <laughs> if you see them, it's not the end of the world. The only thing I'm struggling with is what to wear it with because I probably wouldn't, I think it looks super cute with jeans, but I'm not a fan of having like my stomach on show when I'm wearing clingy pants, if that makes sense. So I was thinking maybe some black, super big, baggy, clot or floor length um, pants that were just like super baggy so they just kind of skim over the stomach and I just would look super glamorous. I think that's probably the way that I would go with this top so I need to hunt those pants into existence so <laughs> if you guys know of any please send them across because I think that would look super cute but let me know what you think you should pair I should pair this with because yeah I love it the arms are really nice they're not tight they're flowy yeah guys I I love this one absolutely love this one so I thought whilst I've got jeans on, I'll show you the rest of the tops because I've actually got like four, five tops in total to show you today, which is a lot of tops for me. But yeah, whilst I've got skinny jeans on, I'll show you them because no one likes taking skinny jeans on and off. So this is the next top and it's this black flowery top with a little cold shoulder action going on. And this is, <laughs> yeah, too tight, super tight here like I can't move my arms because of how restricted this is and I don't have the biggest arms in proportion to my size so if you've got bigger arms than me you, you don't stand a chance like can you see when I try and move like how much that is oh I can't even like reach over to show you which is a shame because it's super pretty it's quite tight here so <laughs> that doesn't help either and also, for this kind of top, I would probably want it to be longer. I do have a long torso, I'm 5'9", 5 5'10", 5 so if you were shorter, this would probably be fine, but I'd want it to come probably down to here. Let me show you the back. I can't <laughs> get my hair. So it does have adjustable straps and the frill continues around the back and it's really long on the back, to be honest. Like I'd probably want it a bit shorter on the back and a bit longer on the front. <laughs> I'm probably a bit fussy, but, but yeah, this is an absolute no because I can't, like, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna cut off the circulation to my arms. So if you are my size, wouldn't recommend this. If you have bigger arms than me, absolutely not. Don't bother, you don't need that stress in your life. So whilst this is really pretty, and if it fit, I think this would be so cute. Yeah, <laughs> I think you're going to need to be a 26 again to make this work. But yeah, the arms are a bit of an issue. <laughs> so this next top is quite different for me, actually. It's a white top with red flowers on it. It's got quite a square neckline and thick straps, and it comes in here and then is quite flowy. Again, it's too tight. I would probably say, again, it's more of a 26. It's tight on the chest, but not as tight as the other thing. So I could, I could wear this. I just feel like, because it's got a bit of a thicker waistband and it is a bit tight, it just kind of bunches up a bit and then like accentuates the curve here, which I wouldn't, I, I would rather it didn't. Um, I'll show you the back. So it's got a pretty frill around the top and it's got a nice, cute length at the back. The length of it is great. Love the length, super happy with that. 
the colours are quite different for me, like <laughs> I never wear these kind of colours, but it's pretty. I just think it's not the most like flattering for me, but it's definitely more successful <laughs> than the last top. But yeah, this is a different kind of neckline for me, but I think it's quite nice actually. But yeah, the fit isn't isn't perfect, but it's much better. Uh, the next item is this white shirt, and it is the worst fitting thing I have ever <laughs> tried. Like it's super short, it's super thin, it's way too big, uh, small for the breasts, like it's too small for my arms, like my armpit is here but the seam is here, so again it's super tight, like I don't know if you can see how tight it is on my arms, and like I said, <laughs> for my size I don't have the biggest arms, but like I wouldn't be surprised if I went any harder, this would rip, but you can see how see-through and how tight it is, like that could very easily rip. It does have this pretty lace detail, but it's kind of irrelevant because you can't see, but yeah. Ugh. This is just a no. <laughs> this is the next top and it's a black top with more flowers on. Guys, I'm going to say something about the flowery thing because I've had a lot of comments saying that I, one, wear too many dresses and two, have too many flowery things and I've addressed the dress situation a few times now. I live in dresses, I don't believe in buying clothes that I'm not going to wear, so most of my clothes are going to be dresses but as you can see I'm really trying to branch out. And when it comes to people getting fed up with me wearing flowery things, appreciate your opinion but one, I like flowery things and two, the majority of plus size clothing has flowers on it. I don't know what it is about <laughs> the fashion industry, but when they think of plus size, I think they think of flowery. So <laughs> I don't go out looking for flowery things. They just find me. They call to me. They say, I'm pretty and I'm in your size. <laughs> so yeah, I do appreciate your opinion, but there's probably going to be a lot of dresses and a lot of flowery things and a lot of flowery dresses. So genuinely, if that annoys you, I don't know if my videos are going to be for you. But yeah, back to the <laughs> flowery top that I've got on. It's flowery, but it's not a dress. So, it fits better around the waist. Like, it's probably a tiny bit tighter than I'd want it to be, but there's definitely room to manoeuvre, so that is good. The chest, you know, I mean, I'm going to get demonetized in this top. <laughs> the sleeves are cute. They've got this problem with the armpit again where the seam is t like up my arm rather than in my armpit so it is constricting. Like I feel like I could rip it and also if I move my arm it moves the dress because it's you know it's not in my armpit so that's a problem. I like how it has this like lapel collar detail going on. I think if this fit right, this would be cute. I would feel like sexy in this. <laughs> I probably want it to be a little bit longer, to be honest. But yeah, I'll show you the back. Like from the back it looks cute, but you can see that it's like pulling on my arms. So again, not gonna work for me, but much, much, much <laughs> better than the last one. The next item. <laughs> are these. I thought I'd put this top back on to show you them with because it lets you see sort of everything that's going on. Story behind these, I, like with my arms, my legs are smaller in proportion to the rest of my body so I really struggle with skinny jeans because to get them that fit here they are never like skin tight around the ankles so I thought I'd try some jeggings. Now, <laughs> This, it's my own fault, I didn't look close enough at the picture, because if you do look close enough at the picture, they do look like this. But from afar, I would be forgiven for my mistake. These are called jeggings, and I thought they would be, as jeggings normally are, sort of a stretchy, thin denim with an elasticated waist. But no, these are leggings with jeans printed on them. And they're not even skin tight on the ankle, they're baggy on the ankle. <laughs> Oh guys! And the best bit is they <laughs> have made it so that I have look like I've sat on a wet bench. Uh, what? Why? Why is the white 
all over my butt. <laughs> Guys, they, they, yeah, they fit. They really fit. <laughs> they are comfy. They're that kind of like smooth, shiny legging material. Oh, I hate them. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I feel like I'm being more negative than usual in this video, but there's not been, yeah, hmm, I don't like these. I'm gonna take them off, but yeah, be careful, look at pictures properly. It is my fault for not like looking carefully. But yeah, I, 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 um, yeah, these, these uh, are not the one, unfortunately. So this is the last item and it is a flowery dress. Yeah, it's this black dress with pretty white flowers on it. This dress has potential. If it was a different material, it would have potential, but it's this really like shiny, slippery feeling material that I can't explain, but it just doesn't feel very nice. Let me see if there's any material details. So it says it's 95% polyester and 5% spandex if you know what that means but yeah it's just not a nice material fit wise it fits really <laughs> generously actually because the waist is elasticated and the back is elasticated too I definitely would need to adjust these adjustable straps quite a lot and just should judge up the back a bit so it fits quite generously there's a bit too much material here I'd probably want to just like alter it a little bit just to make it fit a bit nicer on the chest but yeah guys I hate this material oh um, yeah I can't get on board with this material at all unfortunately the length is great I love the pattern the shape it would be great <laughs> but the fit and the material means that again unfortunately this is a no for me, but this dress has potential. On a positive note, it has potential. <laughs> so that's everything that I had to try today. Um, I would say this was unfortunately quite a disappointing haul for me. Starting with the positives, I love, 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 love that flowery crop top. That is stunning. I cannot wait to wear that on holiday. Yes, love that. Um, and the first dress, the green fairy dress, I, I just thought that was stunning. It just unfortunately didn't fit me. So I think their sizes do run a little bit small, especially across the chest. So just something to bear in mind. But uh, other than that, everything else fit quite poorly. The white shirt, the quality of that was just abysmal the jeggings partly my fault but they weren't great and then the fit of everything else the, the clothes the rest of the tops were really pretty but they just didn't fit great I did also like the stars and moon dress I just wish it was a bit of a different material but I still thought that was pretty so overall verdict runs a bit small especially on the chest not the best material but there's definitely a couple of gems to find so I think it's probably about watching videos like this one to see if you can spot pieces that are, are the key pieces that you want to try and then you can avoid some of the disasters that I had but yeah let me know what your thoughts are down below I always love hearing what your thoughts are have you tried Rose Gal before did you have a bit more luck than me if you did let me know what your star pieces from Rose Gal are because I'd very much be interested in seeing them and potentially doing another haul where I try your guys' favourite rose gal pieces. But yeah, let me know your thoughts below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Thank you so much again to Rose Gal for gifting these items to me and thank you so much for watching. Bye!